Welcome to Crimson Guitars, welcome to Crimson Guitars Extras, and welcome to a tool video. Now, nine years ago, a baby-faced me did a video uh, comparing three Triton router models, and I was effusive and, uh, well, I talked about them, and it's actually had, it's had like 170 odd thousand views. It's, it's a, you know, it's been a while, but still, that's quite a few views for uh, uh, just a standard video about some routers, as cool as these routers might be. Triton have come out with two new routers, and I figured it would be around about the right time for me to have another look. And also, it's a bit of a review. Nine years ago, I was all, oh my god, I love these things. Uh, is that still the same? Well, I'm here to tell you. Oh my God, I love these things. Like genuinely, they're absolutely incredible. And it is still the same features that, uh, that turn me on today, which is quite, I'm, I'm not gonna be talking about the wattage and the horsepower and all that. We've got, what? A small one to a big one. I think that's three and a quarter horsepower. Uh, three and a quarter, just huge and more than powerful enough for guitar building. We'll flash this up on the screen. What really excites me is the fact that they have uh, made an upgrade to what was essentially my favorite uh, and most used uh, router in the workshop here, uh, and also added a trim router. Am I excited about these things? Very much so. Let's just have a quick look. Oh yes? Yes, let's do it. All right, I use this beast all the time. This is the uh, this is the original. This is the TRA001, and it's but it's it's locked off. You see, okay. Basically, all four of these, including the Teenage Mutant Ninja Router, is the TMNRTR, etc. I gave it the nickname, and I'm hoping it sticks. Uh, even this one, when it's on the plunge base has the ability to go in a router table with the same fantastic um, built-in router lift capacity capability. That's unheard of and incredible. We've got a rack and pinion system, which is Triton's own thing. And when I'm building a guitar using these three, uh, I use the rack and pinion all the time because I'm talking about uh, very, very, very fine uh, increments of, uh, of depth, etc. And basically, you've got, your, you've got your up and down, grab that in, and the whole thing goes perfectly fine. But if you want your finer detail, you've got a plus and minus up on here, and it's so, so useful. That's a fine adjustment, fine adjustment down, then you lock the router off, and you're sorted. Now, because of the rack and pinion, there is um, there is a little bit. This one's had the spring taken out because we actually uh, uh, my one is at home, and I've just realised I don't have one behind my bench here. So we have just ripped this out of a, a router table. So um, so yeah, it's uh, missing the spring that holds it in place because you know these are working routers. Because of the rack and pinion, you've got a little minuscule amount of movement as you go and that is that just is the way it is so you will find your adjustment find your adjustment hold it down so that it's where it needs to be and then lock it off and then you've got an absolutely rock solid base and a stable router when it goes in a router table which all of them can do uh, take the spring out from here and it just removes the the pressure when you're using the very very cool um, router lift capacity so on this one it's that there this goes into your router table the tool comes through from the top and goes up and down now the absolute favorite top-notch best thing about these routers is essentially when you pull it all the way through it automatically locks your <laughs> stop this isn't working Ah, oh, damn it. And that's why. <laughs> the safety feature screwed me up there. No, this isn't working. I'm talking to camera. It's not working. What's happening to me? I know how this router works. What happened is it was taken out of a router table and uh, they hadn't actually turned it off because the router table's got its own switch uh, on, the, on, the, on the side. So you turn it off and you see when you turn it off, 
this incredible uh, little bit of plastic uh, retreats out so you can't turn this router on by mistake. My kids can't come. They, if they want to turn a router on uh, and they're working in my home workshop, they have to very, very carefully figure out how to do that. But watch this. This is, this is the safety feature I'm talking about. When you are changing your, your bit, your collar comes out the end and that is now absolutely locked in place. So I can change my collar. There is no fiddling, there's no faffing, there's no trying to get a, uh, a spanner or adjustable spanner or something like that in through the thing and, and messing around and slipping and punching. The amount of tables I punched, workbenches I punched, slipping while tightening the uh, cutter in my routers uh, in the early years. Genuinely, I used to injure myself on a semi-regular basis. That doesn't happen anymore because it is all external. And it's so easy. So, reduce the lock. There we go. That's now locked in place. And I can, I can change that, that cutter externally. It is, it is literal genius and it is for this reason that I will never use another router. On top of that, if you've got an inbuilt collet lock like this, surely you run the risk of turning the router on and destroying everything and possibly yourself in the process. Uh, if you turn this on while it's locked, <laughs> you're going to strip a motor out, aren't you? Not so. They've designed it so that this can't move. Uh, when your collet is locked in place, your uh, clear plastic uh, switch guard is, I couldn't figure out what to call it, uh, is locked in place and you can't turn the router on. Move it down and that moves again. Absolute genius. The rest of it is, you know, it's a, it's a high quality router. You've got good motors, you've got your variable speed control, you've got the locks and the depth stops. You know, you, you, you're expecting a standard depth stop. You know, it's, it's, all, it's all there and it all works as expected um, in much the same way you would see on any other router just made to a better quality and that's where that's where we come to this so this is the uh, the TRA001 this is the MOF001 let me let me procrastinate a little bit because um, I do I do that I do that a lot if I don't know necessarily what I'm going to be doing, this is the router that I've got. She is meaty enough and powerful enough to do pretty much anything on a guitar from, uh, from very deep cuts using a half inch, uh, a half inch bearing cutter, taking big passes all the way around the outside. I've run uh, a cutter with this machine that is, it's got a 60 millimeter cutting, um, blade and it eats it for breakfast no problems whatsoever uh, if I'm going to be routing just pickup cavities for example using a quarter inch cutter or even a half inch and it's it's there and I'm gonna be doing this all day I'll go for this baby it's not quite as powerful but it is definitely meaty enough for anything I can throw at it in guitar building for example if I was if I was building kitchens if I was fitting doors etc that's, this is the router that I would carry with me. It's lighter, it's easy to throw around, and uh, yeah, it does everything that its big brother can do. Both of these have got the same polycarbonate uh, system in there uh, to keep the uh, dust controlled, etc. Uh, it's all enclosed and wonderful, and you just have a, uh, uh, an extraction hose coming out the side. It, doesn't quite meet, but uh, with a little bit of suction that doesn't make any difference and it doesn't meet because the body of the router needs somewhere to go, as you can see in there. But here is, here is the thing. This is the TRA002. I got the number right. Numerical dyslexia, I struggle with that. It has the same features. We've got the same uh, router lift capacity built in. We've got the same safety feature uh, with the switch. We've got the same uh, rack and pinion 
uh, adjustment. Actually, here's the other thing. Uh, rack and pinion isn't the, only, isn't the only option. If you push that button in and it's not locked, the whole router just goes up and down like you would normally, like a normal router. I, uh, I, I don't generally, there we go. I don't generally use that. I prefer just going up and down with rack and pinion. Um, but you know, full on plunge is fine. Uh, this has got a slightly upgraded lock. It's got a nice little bit of rubber on there. I mean, pff, you know, it's the little things. Uh, we've got the fine control. And again, it just feels better. Uh, that's got some nice rubber on there rather than the plastic on the other one. It's, it's a minimal thing. There are, however, a few upgrades. And uh, the one thing that I find lacking with the other routers is the lack of a, a built-in guide bush uh, functionality. I don't use guide bushes very often. Uh, in fact, there's one job that I use a guide bush for, and that is uh, the, the truss rod. So I'll use a, a, a guide bush, and essentially that just fits in here, and uh, you don't need to use a bearing or anything like that. And it's useful in well, it's useful for routing truss rods and uh, carbon fiber stiffening rods. That's something that they have now built into this router. So initially, if I want everything that that router gives me in a slightly larger form factor, it feels bulletproof. It feels to me like something that is just going to last forever. Uh, now, they've also upgraded things like the, the motor spec. Uh, there's been a, a, a lot of development over the last 10 or 15 years in, in how motors are made. Personally, it's nice to know, but it's not the most important thing. The most important thing for me is, is it rock solid? Does it have the, the fine adjustment that I'm after? Does it have a motor that's not going to blow up? I have had, before I went to uh, Triton, I've had routers. Uh, I will not name the companies, literally blow up on me within three or four months of me buying them. And uh, at that point, it was, it was me on my own in a small business, and I could not afford to buy another damn router. Um, it was, uh, well, I've, I've never touched that brand again. So uh, anyway, the other thing is um, with this one, it's improved dust extraction. So the polycarbonate, once you go all the way down, it meets in the middle and it's entirely enclosed, uh, which is one of the reasons why uh, physically it's a, it's, a larger, it's a larger router. The body of it here isn't that much bigger, but uh, everything now is higher, so that works better for even better dust extraction. And then also they've got this pipe coming up here. So if you've got uh, a dream workshop, and I still want this, where all of the extraction is above you, that just works better. And, uh, and that's that. I, I just think, well, I'm a little bit in love. And I can't wait to make this video in another 10 years' time and see what they've done uh, in the meantime. You've got the same, um, same fences and all that sort of stuff. It's, uh, it's cool. Uh, I mean, it's, it's really cool. And then finally, I, I did actually do a quick video about this because uh, I was so excited when she arrived. Uh, and in that video, I completely forgot forgot. I didn't realize that you could, um, you could run this in the, uh, in the router lift. There it is. Look at that. She's hidden. So that there is your fine adjustment if you put it into a, into a router table. It's not quite meaty enough for routing around the, uh, the outside of a body. Uh, you've got a quarter inch uh, collet on here. Um, it might go with a bigger collet, but I don't think so. Uh, but it's the same thing. This, this beauty, we've got your depth stop, you've got all of that, and here's your fine adjustment. So we've got the same, same thing, it's just not on there. And then finally, it comes with a few bases, and having, hold on, bear with me. Yep, my microphone's still working, Haha. -ha, there we go. So you've got a few different bases that come as standard, and apparently with most routers of this, uh, uh, sort, sorry, I'm locking the wrong one, uh, they don't come as standard. And that's just a very basic standard trim router, which uh, really is useful. When you are playing around, and guitar building is, let's face it, playing around, 
uh, with a, a six millimeter drop top or something like that, or installing a, a, a copper top on the front of a guitar and you need to route through all of that copper. This is the sort of thing that you want to just pick up and just nom, have a quick go at. In the end, this is, this is guitar building to me. Uh, having fun, it's, here we go. This is, this is the thought for the day. I love building guitars. And you see me filling my life with, with tools and machines and toys so that I can make more toys, i.e. the guitars. If those tools and those machines take the love of guitar building out of me, then I chuck them and I find something else, I find an alternative. I want to enjoy every minute of making a guitar. I want to enjoy every minute of being in my workshop because, hell, this is my escape. This is what gives me passion and purpose. And if I've got a router that I'm worried is going to explode, if I've got a, a, a hand drill that keeps on eating or breaking drill bits or, um, yeah, I've, I've stabbed broken off drill bits in the past. If that happens, then I don't want to be in the workshop and that is the very last thing I want in my life. So buy quality tools, buy quality tools with the uh, with the safety features and the and the fine adjustment features that you deserve by Triton routers. You deserve it. I sound like a makeup ad. Uh, I got excited about this one and I've probably missed some features. I've got it! I, for I realized what I forgot. Interchangeable collet system, quarter inch, eight mil, 12 mil, half inch, Six mil, six mil, eight mil. Oh, six mil must be a quarter inch. There's collets. Uh, they all come with one or two, but there are others as well that you can get. So there we go. I knew I'd forget something. It's one of the one of the cool things as well. But in reality, I'm very much still in love with Triton routers. And yes, I must say I do have a an endorsement with them, and I got that after I've been using their routers for at least at least six or seven years. I am an unambiguous fan of what they do. And uh, so are many of you other guitar builders out there. Uh, so yeah, there we go. What did I miss? Let me know in the comments, click like, subscribe, go and check out Triton's channel. Uh, there's a guitar build on there actually that I did for them a few years ago. And uh, uh, yeah, feel free, to, feel free to mock the baby-faced cherubic innocent me in the, in the previous video. If yeah, fancy it. Um, yeah. Now, how do I become that skinny again? And no, a router is not the answer. Catch you on the flip side. Goodbye. I want to. I want to build a guitar entirely based around just that. <laughs> Would that not make a really cool guitar, Nov?